Hey, I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 28th of July, 2022. Welcome to my vlog of daily life in Leon, Nicaragua. And it is Thursday. What a busy week it has been. I am just exhausted. I cannot believe how much has been not happening and yet feels really busy, right? Like there's been very few actual things happening this week. I don't know why it feels so busy. It just feels like I get into the office and I'm caught in a nonstop mode of trying to keep up on on phone calls and and stuff for clients and and i just can't get to enough things fast enough and by the by the time i'm able to step out and do some videos like the sun is already going down and i'm struggling to get a chance to do anything and i never get to do the the projects that i want to do uh which which really wears on me uh because because i have a lot of projects i want to do but i did manage to record um my first episode of camera cafe which is my new show here on youtube where i'm just talking about cameras totally different vibe than this um and and just a chance for me because that's my hobby and i want to be able to share that and do that and have an excuse for doing a bunch of that stuff. I watch all these camera shows on YouTube and I'm like, well, I have, I have my own thoughts and things that I wanna, wanna get out there and I wanna you know, talk about why I really like the cameras that I like and why I chose what I chose. And there's this cute doggy over there in the doorway. Two of them. All right, so that was, so mostly just work today. Uh, we have a busy weekend coming up. Tomorrow is gonna be busy. We have guests coming in from out of town. We're just, we're just pretty busy in general. Tonight though, after work, I did have one of those rare nights where uh, Dominica knew ahead of time because so often, one of the things that kills us is that we're always waiting for staff to come in from out of town for things. We never know when there's gonna be meetings. We never know when we have to run around and deal with stuff. And so we're constantly caught in a mode of waiting for someone to arrive, waiting for, for someone to confirm whether we have to work or run around somewhere and deal with money or contracts or whatever. So that's, that's always an issue. Tonight, we actually had a moment where uh, we knew we didn't have anything going on tonight. And so we were able to uh, actually make some plans early enough that we were able to go out to dinner. There is an Italian restaurant near Unan uh, that I've been to a couple times, uh, but it's been a while and uh, very rarely do I get to go. And I've been trying to get Dominica there for a couple months, actually, I think since possibly even April, so, so quite some time. And uh, finally, finally, we had an evening where we were able to go out to dinner together. So we went out um, pretty late, about 7.30, 8 o'clock, I think, uh, went out, and I believe it's called Il uh, Carpiccio, something like that. I'll have to look it up. It's not very well known. It's just a husband and wife. He's from Italy. She's from Guatemala. She does all the cooking. He takes care of the front of the house. That's it. There's no staff. Very, very small place and good food. They do pasta, like regular pasta. They do ravioli. They do pizza, sandwiches. They have uh, fresh frozen yogurt uh, and other things. So it's, a, it's a pretty good menu. Lots of desserts for how small they are and how few customers they are. It's amazing how much they're able to serve. I think they make a good amount of the stuff like fresh on the spot uh, to be able to do what they do. Uh, and it does take quite a while. It's very good. It's a great location. It's right in the heart of the, the middle of the city. Uh, so you're close to Unan. You get to people watch quite a bit from the restaurant. And for the first time ever, I was not the only table there. So that's a good sign. Uh, so we had a really nice dinner. We enjoyed that. Uh, we ordered food for the kids to bring back for them. On the walk home, we, we checked at Gecko's and discovered that Thursday nights are karaoke night. We thought about going out tonight for karaoke, but decided not to. We were feeling old and tired and wanted to get home. Uh, so we just bit the bullet, walked on home. But on the way home, we stopped by Oasis del Sabor and got um, cherry limeades, which I mentioned, I believe, in yesterday's video that Dominica's never had a chance to get those cherry limeades either, even though she loves cherry limeades. So that was nice. And we got great bet for Paul, which I had just discovered, but I covered that already. If you don't know that story, you can check it out in yesterday's video. Uh, and from there, we walked on home. Now, what's interesting, as we were approaching the house, we discovered that a new restaurant, or a really old restaurant, depending on how you want to look at it, has opened up on our corner by the church. Now, they don't have any signs out, and we were unclear what was going on. The entire street in La Barrio was completely packed with cars. They had multiple parking attendants out 
get, uh, showing people where to park and getting them to and from the restaurant. And it's on the corner directly across from the north side of the church, and it's called La Antigua. And it's one of the oldest restaurants and one of the oldest bit buildings in the city but it's uh, been closed for the entire time that we've been here. And rumor has it that it used to be a vegetarian restaurant uh, years ago and it closed during COVID. It is owned by, and this took a l several days of putting together information to figure all this stuff out. It is owned by El Sopan, which we went to in December to f for the first time that we ever saw Larry Emerson and his band play up on the north side of the town, north of El Centro in the barrio west of the stadium. They own the place. Unfortunately, they don't run a separate menu. They actually make La Antigua just a subset of the El Sopan menu. Now, El Sopan has really good food, uh, some of the best steaks in town, definitely some of the best soup in town, hence the name. And uh, it's generally a really nice place. So the fact that they own it is good. There's a good, uh, a good overall vibe and everything. We've not made it in yet, but that's what we're told, and it looks really cool, and it was insanely busy, uh, but we can't go there to get food that we couldn't already get. It's just really, really convenient right across the street, and already not a place that has much we can eat because it is a steakhouse and a soup place, and most soup places are just meat. They don't normally have vegetarian options, so that's unfortunate, but it is ridiculously close to our house, uh, and so we will check it out at some point. We were unclear whether they had reopened or is a special event or whatever. So we didn't really look into it tonight, but we will discover over the next few days that it is open again, but not all the time. Uh, and it is quite busy and a lot of people like it, but we do know people who've been there and they basically said it's, it's pretty limiting. And while it's good, it is not exciting and not not supplying anything that we didn't already have in town. It's just a new venue for what we already had. So that's unfortunate, but it is cool that things are opening up again. And that is pretty much our Thursday here in Leon, Nicaragua. Thanks for joining me. I'm working on getting caught up on these videos. After this, I think I'm in pretty good shape. And uh, remember to like and subscribe, put your comments below. We're gonna have lots of neat content coming up now that I've finally caught up and I'm able to make videos more or less in real time. I will see all of you tomorrow.